What's going on, everybody? This is your Blackbuster Craig, and you are watching the Blackbuster Show. Today, we're here to talk about the Steam family sharing. Steam is amazing. We know this. And Valve just earlier today announced the Steam family sharing, where you can share your games with your friends online. It's a phenomenal feature, and it's free. You hear that, Microsoft? It's free. Now, I'm here to let you know everything you need to know about the Steam Family Sharing. Firstly and foremost, you can get access to it pretty early with the beta. All you gotta do is join the Steam Family Sharing group on Steam and you might be picked to join the beta. So go ahead and go on there, join the group, see if you can get access early. Tell us how it is. But how do you authorize someone to use your games? Well, you can either do it locally by going to their computer and actually accessing your Steam account from there and changing your settings on there and so you can add it to your authorized devices list. Or your friends can send you a request and you can simply respond and give them access that way. You can give up to 10 people access to your Steam library, but not all at the same time. If your library is accessed by one particular friend elsewhere on an authorized device, everyone else is locked out of your library. So until he's finished with it, no one else can play. So when you have authorized devices, people, different people using your account, they're not going to be kicking each other off every time someone wants to play a game. Once someone is done and they get off, someone else can actually access it. But you as the lender, you will always have access to your games because you're the lender, it's your games. So when you actually access your own game, like say someone borrows my game of Left 4 Dead 2, when I go on my account to play Left 4 Dead 2, it's gonna give the other guy, the actual borrower, a few minutes to play, and then it's gonna tell him to get off or buy the game. It's pretty simple how that works. Uh, let's see, what else here? Um, as far as DLC is concerned, if you are a borrower and you're playing a game that has DLC, you cannot purchase DLC for the game. It's not your game. You're borrowing exactly what the guy has. So if he's missing DLC, you won't be able to get that DLC yourself unless you buy the game and buy your own DLC. But if the lender actually has the game and the DLC, then you'll be able to get access to that DLC. And also, this is a very important thing that people need to know. Valve has already stated that they want you to give only trusted individuals access to your Steam library. Because if someone does something fraudulent or something wrong in a game that they're borrowing from you, you may lose your privilege of actually having the Steam family sharing feature. So, I implore you to please only give trusted individuals and people that you know are not idiots access to your games and we can all have a nice happy family sharing time on steam for free it's amazing valve what you're doing with steam will you guys ever stop will you guys ever stop giving us these fantastic features for free i really just want a tour of the headquarters i really do this, I, I just love Valve and what they do for gamers. Not only do you get the best deals on games, but you also get to share them with your friends at no extra cost. There's no Steam Gold account <laughs> that you need to access this feature. It, it's really, it really is amazing, guys. But I really, guys, I, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you all learned what you need to know about Steam family sharing. Y'all have a good day, happy gaming. See you guys on Steam.